Hi, in this video, I'm going to cover the planning board, which is a tool from the version two branch of WaveMaker, which we've kept. Uh, it's still very useful. It ties neatly into the writer tool. Uh, as the notes section in the top right hand corner of the writer, you will find a little post it notes logo icon. If you click on that, it gives you the little window which shows all of the cards for that scene. Now these can be rearranged into uh, sort of sub cards and it will retain the the settings. There we go. That I've created chapter two is now under chapter three, but it, the cards move with it. So it's all adjustable. Now the planning board, as you can see, has a couple of advantages when you've got it open like this is you can move stuff. You can say, well, actually, I, I want this symbol card to be in chapter two. I will drag it over and I'll drop it there. That will have moved in the system. You can also zoom all the way across. It's all part of the fun. There's quite a lot to do. You can add cards into the system at the right points whenever you feel like it. Uh, by clicking on the little Add Card button, you can create a new card and put it in. It can be anything uh, from this list or a plain note card. Either way, however you want to use it, go nuts. <laughs> it's a tool for you to either help you structure your document by making notes that you can then adjust. You could even keep little snippets of ideas in these notes and move them around. Now, WaveMaker is free software, but if you enjoy using it, please support me by becoming a patron. There are links on my website and in the comments below.